Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David and Ark. Today we are on the ETK driving experience map and I've spawned in just some traffic uh, into the game but as we can see for whatever reason they all spawned in on top of and inside each other so I think if we get far enough away then uh, we can drive down here and the vehicles will start to spawn in down on this end of the map yeah we can see some cars driving around there so I'm kind of curious there are a couple of things that I, I think might be fun to do uh, in the game one of them uh, is just to, to demonstrate uh, AI on a smaller map and honestly I'm not exactly sure what the AI pathing is for the ETK driving experience so we're seeing the AI do some really weird some really weird stuff uh, I, I don't know and we are watching vehicles spawn in so this is one of the one of the issues that you may see when you're using the traffic mode is uh, it, especially on smaller maps you will actually see the traffic spawn in while you're driving around just because there are there's there's not a lot of map there we go there's a blue car down here the uh what was that i don't know what that was i don't know if that was a COVID or an etk either way uh, the, the issue is that on maps, especially like this, there's not a lot of tree coverage. There's not a lot of um, just other, you know, there's not, not a lot of structures in the way. So basically it's, it's kind of open and you see everything going on. So what if uh, we look at some of the other options that you have, some of these apps? One of them is wind. And I actually had somebody ask me about this the other day. How do you do wind? So the first thing you do is load in the UI for wind. And it's going to uh, give you this little dial here. And um, the circle that I pull around is actually the angle of the wind. And then the little orange dot at the bottom is your wind speed. Now, right now I've got it set at 166, which is not enough to move vehicles, which seems a little weird to me, but look at there. We just start to ramp it up 200 mile an hour wind. And you can see that they are generally going in the direction where the dot is up on the circle. <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah. Now we, are not getting blown away and I think that's because we're actually kind of sheltered so if I just drive out here oh yep I'm, I'm not driving this is the wind doing this so here you can actually attempt to drive your vehicle with the wind just by changing the angle of attack 394 mile an hour wind and oh look at there Ooh, we managed to bring our car to a stop and attempt to stop steer it although this is not an exact science by any stretch and we are going way too fast oh well look at there i managed to just barely tap the guardrail unfortunately uh whoops our AI friends whoa are not anywhere near as lucky oh my gosh they are wow flying that is crazy oh my gosh okay so let's uh lower this down a little bit Look at that. You can see the wind effect of the different parts of my vehicle. All right. Uh, so if I reset, <laughs> sorry, dude, I didn't mean to, you know, destroy your vehicles while we were uh, flying around here. All right. So here we go. If I ramp this up. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is so crazy. Oh, look at those cars just flying. 470 miles an hour. Oof. We are slammed into the fence. Now, okay, this is interesting. I'm free camming and cars are popping in, but look, they're not affected by the wind. Huh, all right. So are they not affected by the wind because I'm free camming? I mean, they're not affected at all. Look at this. They're just driving around looking at my car that is completely demolished. But supposedly there's a 470 mile an hour wind. All right, so I've reattached the camera to my car. 
That doesn't have any effect. So what if I move the wind? Oh, whoa, that was close. All right, so when the cars spawn in, they're not affected by the wind until I actually move the wind needle. Now, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why they're not spawning in. Why are, why are you not spawning in? All right, here we go. Oh, look at the smoke. Oh, that is so cool. Watching the uh, smoke trail off into the distance because of the wind. I got to tell you, man, I, the more I play this game, and I've been playing for a lot of years, it's just, it's so cool the fun stuff you discover just by throwing in a UI tool here or there and just playing with it and see what happens. Look at there. Oh, so if we get, that's too fast. So 80 miles an hour, you can still see the smoke. Whoop. 470 we are sending stuff flying look at that way off into the distance kaboom buddy let's see if we can oh oh you're about to cross into the path but see he spawned in so all i gotta do is just move the needle a little bit and he is rolling through the woods somewhere i have no idea i have no idea where he went where, where did he go I have no idea. Sorry, buddy. I Not a clue. No idea where the AI went flying through the air with wind at his back, really, I guess. All right. So if we... Let me respawn my car here. And cruise down here. Get some more vehicles spawned in. All right, so I'm going to try this. If I, if I just, there we go. I'm just going to let you fly there. All right, now I'm in free cam, and now I'm going to adjust the wind. Oh, yeah. So you can do wind in free cam. That is so cool. It's just when a, a car spawns back in that the wind does not affect them until you adjust the wind speed. Look at that. Just throwing cars around using only the power of the wind oh straight into the solar array oh my gosh they are flying tumbling that is so crazy look at that car we've got banding going on oh, oh that dude's flying through the woods let's see if we can figure out where this dude's going oh wait wait where where'd he go did he go through here I have no idea where he went. Even the banding disappeared, which that's pretty rare. Usually once you have banding, the banding, you know, stays in the game uh, until you reset the vehicles, but that dude is gone. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's steer our vehicle around a little bit using just the angle of the wind. Ouch. Come on. Can we break free from the tree? There we go spinning around right, right into another tree. Oh, that's great. And we've definitely got banding. Oh, man, that is so cool. So, that is how you do wind in the game. And then another UI uh, item that you can add is called traffic. So you can just add traffic. And you can see, I have spawned in 20 vehicles and uh, basically what you do is you uh, go to where it says the number of cars and click the up arrow for as many cars as you want to try to spawn in. Click the spawn button and then you see just below where I have a 20 there, there's a little play button. So you can hit play and that will get the traffic moving. Uh, you can also change the AI mode. I've got it set to traffic, but you can also do uh, chase, flee, random. Uh, you can also do awareness, and that is the AI detecting other AI and you uh, in order to do what that car did, you know, where it kind of stopped uh, when I got in front of it. Um, you can also uh, check out, you know, how many cars can you see on the screen at a time. So I've spawned in 20, but really, you only see like 
maybe eight to 10 on the screen at a time. So if you're having trouble with AI vehicles, you know, if you're spawning in too many, um, just try cutting the number down. I don't think it's really gonna whoop, change your experience uh, all that much. Oh, sorry, wasn't paying attention to what was behind me. Oh my gosh. So anyway, there you go, some AI, some wind action, just playing around in BeamNG. Uh, like I said, I, I had somebody ask me about wind so I thought I'd play around with that and ooh, slam into the wall. Hey, you got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. We'll see you next time. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you'll know when new vids get posted. I'd appreciate it if you liked and shared the video too. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God, GamerGall, for supporting me on Patreon. Hey, I've got a couple of videos here you might be interested in. You can check those out and, well, we can hang out for a bit more here on David and Ark. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.